Right, so I'm back. Um, I've just attached dis attack disattached the uh, front fan and the case. I know it's not a very good angle for me to do this, but it's a bit awkward to video inside the printer, so I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I've attached this and I've taken the little wire off. Just be careful with the wires because they're not very strong. So put that to one side. And then what you need to do is take out these little screws. I suggest using your own or a better Allen key. Don't use the ones that Ellie will give you because they're rubbish and they will round off because they're so small. They are not very good at all. I've actually bought a load of spares of them. You can buy them from a place called KFast and they're about 10 pence each. So I've bought 10 of all different types of screws that's on this printer so I've got lots of spares. In case I ever round one off taking one in or taking one out I can just replace it. Because there's nothing worse than a rounded off screw. So I'm just going to move this over here. Obviously make sure your printer's turned off. Uh, so that you're not going to damage it in any way when you're doing this. This is bloody tight is this one. There you go. Eligo tend to fit these really tightly. So when you refit them. I just just tap them up so just put them in more or less finger tight and then just tighten them very slightly don't over tighten them because they do round off and they're only into plastic anyway so it's not a good idea to over tighten these um, so we've got them fallen out and now I'm just going to move this back over here as you can see so you can take this off and put it to one side. Now here you've got two screws, you've got one here and one here. Or you can take it off by just undoing the one at the back. Which I think I'm probably going to do rather than taking out the extruder. Um, I just need a torch to see in there. If you can see in there, there is one in the back, just there, look. See that one there, in the middle? So you can take that one off, or you can take them two off there. But um, I'm going to replace the whole thing, because they've given me it in one piece, so I might as well just replace the whole thing. Uh, I might have to take the extruder off, actually, because I can't get to that. But I'm just going to take the extruder off. Just makes life easier. So we want a different Allen key for that one. And we'll take the extruder off. I don't think I'll need to unplug this. We might just get away with just taking the screws off and letting it dangle. So I really don't like taking these plugs out either. Even though this is supposed to be um, a consumable and they're not very good at these little plugs and they do tend to break and if they break you've got another three weeks waiting for a replacement from Eligo which is something you don't want so I should be able to just carefully let that dangle if you just pull it out let that dangle it should be open and I can get to that little screw at the back now uh, I think I can do it with this one to be honest with you I think it's the same Allen key no, it's not, it's a smaller one. It's the same as the little screws on the side. Is this Allen key here? So if you just nip that one out, there you go, and that'll fall free. There you go. So, and then just unplug this little, the, um, unplug the, um, I don't like doing this, but awkward to get to, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to uh, give it a little bit of a tug with a screwdriver. Just to, there you go, I'm just going to give it a bit of a bit of persuasion with a screwdriver because I don't like taking these out. There you go. So that's that out. 
So you can take that out in one piece. And here's my replacement. So it's just the reverse, exact reverse. So there's a little hole when I find out forgot on how to put this bugger back in now. So a lot so there's a hole. How did I do that? This one looks slightly different actually. Oh no, it's not, it's me. I'm just ignore me. So I can't remember how this goes back in now. I think it's like oh it's, sorry, it's like that. That's it. So we need to put this back in the proper way, which is up like that. And plug that back in, make sure it's in properly. And then this little screw wants to go back in that hole. So the fan goes to the back. Like so. The fan goes to the top. To the side, should I say, and the fan is um, the little surround goes there. So if you can put that back in there, and it should hold it in place. Again, don't do it too tight; just nip it up, and that should be enough. Then we can put the extruder back. So that saved me a job having to mess about pulling them wires out because I don't like doing that at all. And that just fits snugly up against that fan. Just make sure your wires aren't caught on the extra. On, they sometimes get caught, do they? They're a bit awkward. So make sure the wires don't get caught on the fins of your extruder. And push that back home. And then I need another. Yeah, you seem to be always swapping ends with this, which is a bit awkward, but there you go. I, should, I thought you'd have done them all with the same Allen key. would have been a lot easier. But I don't suppose I can with this, because it's a totally different thing, isn't it? So, that's my extruder back together. Again, just nip them up, not too tight. And then the, your case, where's my case, the wrong one, your, um, oh yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm going mad here, yeah, so we need to put this on first and make sure that comes through this hole here, right, so, so this has to come underneath there, and then we'll swap as head again on a screwdriver, because we need to put these little ones back in now. So these tiny ones, look, if you drop one like that, you've had it. It's good you've bought a load of spares. And luckily I found it. Sometimes I fall into them little holes at the bottom of your printer. So it's a good idea to put a bit of tape over them. Because if they fall down them little holes, you've got to take your printer to bits and get the bottom out and then try and shake the screw out of the bottom of the, where the motherboard is, which is a nightmare. So it's a good idea to put a little bit of tape over the holes in the bottom of your bottom of the printer. You'll see them where these screws are. Um, just put a bit of tape over them. There you go. So we'll screw this one back in. Just move this over here a bit so I can get to it. And we'll do the other side. Again, just nip it up because they are easy to wind up to round off. There we go. And now we put this head back on, obviously. <clears throat> Put your, make sure you put your wire, little wire there. Make sure you put your little wire back in. Put it in the correct way. 
And then what I find is here, is you see this little little opening here? If you if you bend your wires so they just fall into that opening, you don't have any problems with it closing. Because people always have, have problems with it and see it falling off. Well it's solid that, as long as you make sure them wires are in that gap, it's fine. So that's it. We've replaced the fan, which is in here. And this is my old one here. So I've replaced it. So I'm going to give it a go. And we'll see how we go on. Hopefully that's fixed the job. So, like I say, if you have a problem with your head and you get a replacement from Eligu, you will get a lot of spares. So it's pretty good. You get a full lot of spares. So just replace the little bits that you need. And keep the other ones in case it does break again. Right, thanks for watching. Much appreciated. If you like this, um, if you like my channel, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.